Hi foodies, let's get into this really easy sweet and sour sauce. So I start off with a little oil in a hot pan. And then we're going to go ahead and add some veggies. We're using some red onions and some peppers. This is going to give a beautiful color. You want to have that gorgeous array of color in your sweet and sour sauce. I mean, it is up to you if you just want the sauce, but I love to have my veggies in there. So we'll be cooking these just briefly, just for a minute or so, because you want them to remain firm even though they are partially cooked. Then let's go in with some finely minced ginger. This is optional. I just love the taste of ginger in this. So go ahead and add that. Or if you want to, you could remove the veggies and then add the ginger. And just cook the ginger until it's nice and fragrant. It doesn't need to be, you know, cooked for over two minutes, all right? Just until it's nice and fragrant. And then what we're going to do is take these out and set them aside. Now we're going to be adding some pineapple juice, okay, still over our medium flame. Then we're going to go in with some soy sauce, okay, not enough to make it dark, just a little bit. And then some ketchup, of course. There are so many ways to make sweet and sour sauce. Sometimes I use strawberry jam, sometimes I use um, plum sauce, so many ways, guys. Okay, so I added some rice vinegar and some sugar. You can use brown sugar if you prefer, that's fine. And then just whisk everything together, okay? You want this to simmer nicely. And then what we'll add is a slurry. So I've mixed cornstarch and water together. Just add a little at a time and whisk quickly while you're adding it to prevent the lumps. Only add what you need, okay? So if it's not thick enough for you, add some more and keep whisking. Then we're going to add some fresh pineapple. I use canned pineapple sometimes, but to be honest, I prefer the fresh pineapple in this. So we're just going to cook this briefly, okay, under a minute, all right? And then I'm going to add a little coloring. I have some gel coloring on my knife here, so I'm just adding it. This is completely optional, okay? Just if you want that, you know, that really deep red look that you get from those restaurants, then you can add your red coloring or you can just do without. Remember, it adds nothing to flavor. It's all about visual, all right? And then what we're going to do is add those veggies that we cooked. All right, and that is it, guys. We are good to go. This is great with some cauliflower that's been battered and fried or some you know, some chicken or even some sweet and sour pork. Amazing. So give it a try and let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time.